This is our I'm gonna have to adjust this some. Mm, Moritz College of Law, wherever that is. Uh, a young woman put an article in a newspaper called Number One Killer of Black People. Black Americans. And she uh, was threatened for doing it. So, somebody made a death threat against her. She actually put it in the Washington Times. So this is their newspaper. And since so she's a student on campus, she was hoping to get some protection from the college administration. Seems only reasonable. Pays her money and says, you know, there's a security threat. I'm being threatened. And they start harassing her. This is my freedom of speech, but they kept going on and on about how this is a flawed article, it's not a good legal piece, it's not a good journalistic piece either, which is irrelevant. That is bullshit. Ms. Gassiano recalled, she asked me to explain why I even put that white in, what it means, and how I should have followed up by saying other things to support black women. None of which is relevant because of the threat. A second year law student who writes in the Millennial Mindset column for Washington Times online opinion pages, Miss Gassiato said she tried repeatedly to steer the conversation back to the threat made up against her, but the deans appeared to blow it off. I'm a very tough person. I very rarely get upset or sensitive about things, Miss Gessiato said. But I was crying in the meeting for about 30 minutes. I was so shocked. I've never been in a situation with people I respected and looked up to and felt so violated. Like I said, the computer's screwing up. Sorry about that. That's going to continue to pop up. Uh... Ms. Cassiano knew that many of her peers in law school would disagree with the column. She expected to take some flack. What she didn't expect was having an administrator showing less interest in, in her safety than in tearing apart a column entirely unrelated to her coursework. Well, welcome to uh, America 2015. Now here's where it gets absurd. Even more absurd. It's already absurd. Dean Alan C. Michaels said in a statement to the Times that the universe, university takes any alleged threat against its students very seriously. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. While knowing that the Federal Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act prohibits the university from discussing specific disciplinary or conduct cases. That is bullshit. What? She's not on trial here, you dirtbag. University and College of Law each have procedures for assessing alleged threats and responding appropriately. So I've seen. That is incredible bullshit. Mr. Michael said these procedures are used for each allegation received. Obviously not, you dirtbag. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. He added an inclusive learning environment that provides forum for a wide range of viewpoints is critical for a law school. We try to foster a culture of Respectful dialogue when addressing tough emotional issues as they arise in discussions of law and privacy policy. 
That is incredible bullshit. Oh boy, that one is a serious nutcase. Miss Gassiano heard nothing from Dean until after October 27th, meaning even as her article stirred controversy on campus. She did receive a response the next day from Kathy Stewart, Northern Associate Dean for Missions, who assured her that the investigation and threat by speaking students from Black Law Students Association. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. I'm satisfied that those discussions, that there was not an intent to threaten you with physical harm, Ms. Northern wrote in an October 28 email. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. In other words, they're just inviting whoever did it to uh, finish the job. Unbelievable. Ms. Ms. Northern, Mrs. Northern, whoever, uh, for up to me, you would be in an orange jumpsuit awaiting a trial as an accessory after the fact. Go to jail. Even so, Miss Gassiano was wasn't assured reassured because a student who made the threat is white and doesn't belong to the Black Students Association. She said. So apparently, she knows who this is. Well, Madison, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I found this to be a common thing. I don't know what the hell has happened to this country, but it's beyond disgusting. It's downright criminal. A lot of these colleges, Madison, it's not just colleges, the uh, corporate world does too. They hire psychopaths, essentially, to uh, be in charge, and that's just plain wrong. I don't know how, you know, there's so many psychos in this world that get into positions of power, but it's true. I'm not talking about psychos that go out and kill 20 people with a knife, but they're crazy in the head. Now we're going to take a look at her article just briefly. Okay, uh, this is her article. Her contention is that number one killer of black Ameri Americans is abortion, which I might agree with her. Well, unfortunately, apparently, you can't have freedom of speech anymore. I mean, Ohio State is just utterly, uh, completely unprofessional. Those college deans that I talked about in the article, they probably... You know, we should have the FBI knocking on the doors to find out, okay, you're under suspicion for being an accessory after the fact. This is the way I see it. It's a pity it is site so uncooperative because uh, I love the content on this site. But... Unfortunately, Washington Times site is just arguing and arguing, and computers hates it. Well, Miss Gassiano, it's like I said, this is actually pretty te uh, typical. I found that there's very little integrity anymore in any positions of power. People have positions of power. I'd say probably 90% of them are psychos. Uh, I don't understand how that happens, but, uh... They're not going to stand by. It's like, uh... Same thing with immigration. Our... Uh... Government is not going to stand by us on that. 
They're not going to look at people and say, yeah, people don't want this. They want the borders under control. They want illegals deported and that type of thing. They're not going to say that and, you know, that, that's what we're going to implement. They're saying, hey, screw you. We know what's best for you. No, they don't. And we're going to pay the price in terms of, uh, you know, shopping malls shot up and blown up and stuff. It's just disgusting. And eventually, uh, there's going to be a pretty serious backlash, I think. I don't want to get off track. Well, uh, Madison Gassiano, welcome to uh, America 2015. Ohio State uh, Law School is obviously corrupt. The deans are corrupt. This is proof of it. I, You might want to consider getting a lawyer and maybe sue that dirtbag who threatened you. There's no excuse for it. Anybody can have an opinion about something. But in today's America, you can get threatened for saying the wrong thing, and then when you go to the authorities asking, asking for help, they come after you, not the dirtbag. Well, they're dirtbags, too. Those deans are dirtbags. This is unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Now I gotta stop before I get too angry.